Hello students. In this video, we're going to look at um, parallel lines, in this case line AB and line CD that are drawn on a grid. And we're going to learn something about those two lines. So we're going to start by finding the gradient of each of those lines. So the easiest way to do that is to pick a couple of points on each line. So I'll pick A and B itself on that line. And I'll pick C and D on that line. Let's go ahead and uh, draw in the triangles. I might draw this triangle up just to avoid running into point D. So there's the triangle. And there's the triangle. Like so. Okay, the rise for this line is 1, 2, 3. The run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And therefore, the gradient of line AB. By the way, the way we can write the gradient of line AB algebraically is an M for the gradient. And of line AB, just a subscript AB. So if we have two gradients, this is how we can distinguish them. And that's rise over 1, which is 3 over 6. And that, of course, is just one half. Probably not too surprising when we find the gradient of line CD. The rise is 3. The run is 6. And the gradient of line CD is also 3 on 6, or also one half. So, as you may suspect by now, the point of all of this is if two lines are parallel, what do we know about their gradients? They have to be the same. So, parallel lines have the same gradient. Okay, so let's say we're given the equation of this line. And here you're being asked to find the gradient of a line parallel to it without even knowing where the line is, because you know that parallel lines have the same gradient, since the gradient of this line is two, the gradient of a line parallel to it is also two. With this equation, remember the gradient is the coefficient on x, not the first number. So that's really six plus negative one three, sorry, negative one third. The coefficient on x is negative one third, so the gradient of this line is negative one-third, and the gradient of any line parallel to it is also negative one-third. Okay, these are a little bit trickier because we don't have y equals. So in fact, we have to do a little bit of equation solving here. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide everything through by 2. The reason is I want to get y equals, so I need to get rid of the 2. They cross out y minus 4 divide 2 is 2, and 14 divide 2 is 7, and then add 2x to both sides. I'm doing basically making y the subject, which is something we learned to do back in term 1, and therefore y equals 7 plus 2x, which I prefer to write as 2x plus 7. So the question is, what's the gradient of a line parallel to this? Well, because this has a gradient of 2, a line parallel to the given line also has a gradient of 2. Okay, similarly, we need to make y the subject of this equation just here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'll get the 3y by itself. So I'll subtract 2x from each side, like so. That crosses out, leaving just the 3y equals 6 subtract 2x. That, that, of course, can't be simplified because they're not like terms. We can't write it any simpler than that. And finally, everything has to be divided by 3. And there's the equation, y equals 6 divided 3 is 2, 
minus, and I'm going to write that as two-thirds x. That's not very neat. Let me see if I can improve on that. Two minus two-thirds x. And once again, that's the equation. That's the same equation as that, just rewritten. The gradient is negative two-thirds. So for any line parallel to that, the gradient is also negative two-thirds. So that's just about all you need to know about the gradient of gradients of parallel lines.